Hi, let's listen to some ebook reading. Let's start with the pocketbook 903. It needs a moment to start up. T A G O N E A S Master T A G Other A S M A N Mister Phileas Fogg lived in one thousand eight hundred seventy two at No Seven Saville Row, Burlington Gardens, the house in which Sheridan died in one thousand eight hundred fourteen. He was one of the most noticeable members of the Reform Club, though he seemed always to avoid attracting attention, an enigmatical personage, about whom little was known, except that he was a polished man of the world. People said that he resembled Byron hyphen at least that his head was Byron I see, but he was a bearded, tranquil Byron, who might live on a thousand years without growing old. Certainly an Englishman, it was more doubtful whether Phileas Fogg was a Londoner. He was never seen on, change, nor at the bank, nor in the counting rooms of the city, no ships ever came into London docks of which he was the owner, he had no public employment, he had never been entered at any of the inns of court, either at the Temple, or Lincoln's Inn, or a Gray's Inn, nor had his voice ever resounded in the court of Chancery, or in the Exchequer, or the Queen's Bench, or the ecclesiastical courts. He certainly was not a manufacturer, nor was he a merchant or a gentleman farmer. Okay, so much for that. Maybe obviously we are reading um, the In 80 Days Around the World book. Let's have a listen to the M92. The one as master, the other as man. Mr. Phillies Fogg lived in 1872 at No. 7, Saville, Bow, Burlington, Gardens, the house in which Sheridan died in 1814. He was one of the most noticeable members of the Reform Club, though he seemed always to avoid attracting attention, an enigmatical person not about whom little was known, except that he was a polished man of the world. People said that he resembled Byron at least, that his head was Byronic, but he was a bearded, tranquil Byron, who might live on a thousand years without growing old. Certainly an Englishman, it was more doubtful whether Phillies Fogg was a Londoner. He was never seen on chain, nor at the bank, nor in the counting rooms of the city. No ships ever came into London docks of which he was the owner. He had no public employment. He had never been entered at any of the inns of court, either at the Temple, or Lincoln's Inn, or Gray's Inn, nor had his voice ever resounded in the Court of Chancery, or in the Exchequer, or the Queen's Bench, or the Ecclesiastical Courts. He certainly was not a manufacturer, nor was he a merchant, or a gentleman farmer. His name was strange to the scientific and when societies, and he never was known. Okay, the M92 really is a bit more, well, quite a bit more silent um, or quiet than the pocketbook, I find, and yeah. Um, I think that's probably enough to get an idea of what it would sound like. Thank you.